Hey there, welcome back. Because in the last video, I was talking to you about how to apply liquid white. And we used this good old trusty two inch brush. That's a Bob Ross two inch brush, by the way. And then I showed you how to apply the liquid white. And I have a 12 by 24 canvas go in here. And I just did it on, um, I'm gonna turn my camera on. Because I'm a one man show today, and most days I am. But, um, I have put liquid white all over. You know what? I'm going to test it right here so you can see. You'll see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because um, when you have a white canvas, it's kind of hard to see. So um, what I really need to do is get me some gray canvases from BobRoss.com. And then it's easier for you to tell. But you know what? If you, if you can't get those, then that's okay. Um, but this will help you see how to tell if you've got the right amount. So I'm going to touch here and touch here. That's a little dry. Now, I like the way that was because you can still see the grooves of my fingerprint. But now this one where I touched there, it's kind of light. And that's just right also. So I'm going to wipe my fingers. I'm going to come down here. Okay, the only place I have a problem, and when I look from the side, I'm over here like looking from the side, I see it. I see a dry spot there. So I'm going to get my brush and just go in there and do these little XC strokes. So you can pick up your canvas and turn it different ways like this and use the glare to help you see if you have enough, okay? All right, I like the amount that I have. So here's my good old two inch brush. I'm gonna get another paper towel. I'm gonna wipe the excess liquid clear off my brush, okay? Wipe it off. By the way, I have a great little puppy dog. His name is Rufus, and um, every now and then, I just wanna let Rufus jump in and um, you know get to know you guys. So right now he is guarding the art room while he's, he's over there sitting down. So here's my, my palette, and I, it is a Bob Ross palette. I've had it for many years. I've got titanium, titanium white here, phthalo blue, phthalo green, some Prussian blue, some midnight black, a lizard and crimson, some, what is that? Van Dyke brown, <laughs> dark sienna, sap green, cadmium yellow, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, and some bright red. So I'm going to start with a really pretty sky, and I love phthalo blue. So I'll get some of that on that same brush now. All I did was like wipe the excess off, okay? And I'm in my art room, so I don't like sling the paint thinner. Sorry, Bob. Um, I don't sl sling the paint thinner. No one has to wear a raincoat. <sighs> but I'm going to just tap my brush. And incidentally, what I want to offer to you is that I do Zoom classes, okay? I do Zoom painting classes. And I just, this is a way right here for you to kind of get some painting tips. But it's also a way for you to see, um, you know, what my teaching style is like, what my painting style is like. So that maybe one day you can grab you some paint and join me on Zoom. All right, so I'm doing these little XC strokes. I'm leaving a little light area for right now. And I'm going to bring that on down. There's a brace in the middle of this canvas, and it's making a little impression there. I always want to make a good impression, isn't that right? <laughs> And you know what? I don't even have a painting in mind. I've been doing this for so long that I'm just going to let it flow. Y'all can just follow along with me. And we'll just see what it turns out like. And maybe when I get enough followers on YouTube to where I can do a live, um, hint, hint, <laughs> Um, then then y'all can kind of tell me some stuff to put in there. I would love to do that. Now, that's a pretty phthalo blue there. I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of midnight black to my brush and, and then a little bit of phthalo blue and come in and maybe put a little dark place or two here and there, a little bit darker. And look how I hold the brush. I talked to you about stuff like that, about how to hold the brush. And, um... You know, we can do Zoom, I can do Zoom private classes or group classes. And um, 
so you just let me know what you would be interested in in the future like if someone's painted with me a few times you know and you had a certain scene in mind I could do a private class with you and show you how to put that scene on a canvas so um, just you know keep me in mind for stuff like that because I've been doing this a long time and I have helped people do that in fact a lot of the paintings that you might see behind me um, well, at least one or two of them are my own creation and um, one that, you know, the landscape in particular that I put together from a photo that I saw on the internet. But I also, like I changed it because I use different photos actually for, um, what you call it, like inspiration, that kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm going to um, just turn it so you can see that I'm going to make it look a little softer and then I'm going to stop this video because that's the sky. All right. I might even, because I have a lot of streaks going that way, I can go up and down. And you can actually see how that's turning out better than I can. Okay, I'm going to stop with that and I'll come back with another little video. I'm going to break these up into little chunks, okay? See you later.